beware of lambs. Huh? LEDs inside the dashboard, turbo spool and hear the wine. 3D printed custom bracket mounted up, it fixes fine. Break the code, rewrite the firmware, tweak the size or push the speed. If it's got a bolt or circuit, then we got just what it needs. Will it mod? You know we gotta try. Will it mod? All right, guys, um, what are we up to today? Well, first off, the voice, the voice is just gone. I, I woke up two days ago and uh, this is how I sound. So hopefully I'll get my voice back, but if I don't, this is, I guess, how it is moving forward. <laughs> Who knows? Today's fun escapade is this little piece of rubber. Um, I went up to see Flying A Garage uh, yesterday and he's got a Mercury Comet in at the moment. The Mercury Comet has these two little rubber locators on the boot that stop the deck lid from kind of shaking and rattling side to side as you drive down the road. They're really useful when you've got two of them. Uh, the trouble is he's only got one and they don't make them anymore. So the plan was to take this, which is, let me say it's quite a straightforward bit of rubber. It's gone pretty hard over the years, really hard. So the idea was to take that and turn it into Something like this, as you can see there. So let me just, in fact, remove all of these. Let's do an edit, uh, subtract. So there you can see uh, a good shape. It's about right. Uh, spin it around. So that's been put together. Uh, yes, I know 3D Builder isn't the, uh, the best of tools, uh, but you know what, I get along with it really well for this, exactly this type of thing, in fact. Um, and this type of thing being a, a simple, straightforward shape that just needs slapping together. Uh, did that in less than 10 minutes. So yes, I know it's not perfect, but it works for me. I've sent that off to the printer um, and uh, about to go downstairs, have a look at it, peel it off and see if it matches the original. Uh, and then we'll take a trip down to Flying A, drop them off and see if they fit. How exciting. Oh, made it all the way down here to the print room. It, honestly, it's a mess in here. I'm not proud. I am not proud, um, but we're in here anyway, <clears throat> and it has finished printing. So uh, this is now ready to peel off. These have been cooling down for a couple of hours, and I'm guessing they should just, they do, they just lift off. And let's see what we've got. So we've got our two repro units and our original. We can kind of line them up here and see if they look good. There's the original, there's the repro. That looks good. Holes, are they all in the right place? They look good. Securing hole, does that look like it's in the right place? You know what? That is 99% of the way there, and 99% is good enough for me. And we've got this going on. And that is a Defender TD5 doubled in dash panel, which is being printed in uh, like a Chiswick green. So that'll be going out later on today when it's finished as well. Uh, it did take about 18, 19 hours to print those and they're all textured uh, finish. They look pretty decent. So there's that to go, that's on the K1 Max. We've also got in here the Voron, here's the 2.4. Uh, this has been heavily abused, uh, as has this one, another 2.4. There's a Solvol, looking like it's covered in absolute rubbish over there. But it does have a Xenomorph head on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they've been knocking out these lately, which is a whole bunch of Defender D misters, but we will get onto that uh, with the filament from these guys. Filamentive. Big old spool. Hello, Fish. Will it more tear it down, amplify? Sparks in the air, rewind, no doubt. If it can be modded, then we swap it out. Brown Cordroy. I think someone's been wearing it. Better. Onwards. Mod life, we make it real. Anything's possible. That's the deal. Stock is weak. Stock is flawed. So tell me now, will it mod? Will it mod? Yeah, you know we gotta try. Will it mod? Tear it down, amplify. Hey, sparks 
Beats in the air, rewired, no doubt. If it can be modded, then we swap it out. Good old faithful. Hey. Let's go. It's only a 20 minute ride up the road through some beautiful forest. So let's head up and get these drops off. Do I have them with me? Yes, I do. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Get all the way there and find out I've left them at home. And look how beautiful it is around here. I mean, it's honestly, it's unbelievable. It's just forest for miles and miles and miles, acres and acres of walks and bike rides. And, and the summer, this is absolutely stunning. And what a beautiful place to live. Come on! From the printer to the ride If there's something we can tweak Then we'll take it for a slide Bigger, better, faster, stronger Nothing stays the way it came Stock is boring, stock is basic Time to switch and change the game LEDs inside the dashboard Turbo spool and hear the whine 3D print a custom bracket Mount it up, it fits just fine Break the code, rewrite the firmware Tweak the slicer, push the speed If it's got a Bodo circuit Then we got just what it needs Will it mod? Will it mod? Yeah! You know we gotta try Will it mod? Tear it down Clipper locked and holding tight, box turtle spooling filament. Ah. Sharp the code is right, super mode. Mm. See, should they be allowed on the road? I'm not knocking the guy, he obviously needs to get about. In my opinion, they should be allowed on the road. But then I've seen some of those things with number plates. So, what a grey area. You know, and that's one thing that I think we need to wake up to in the UK is personalized electrical vehicular transport so things like that things like scooters mobility scooters and push scooters and all that kind of stuff this stuff that's been hanging around for years that the government just don't want to implement because it means people don't take buses which are heavily subsidized by the government and owned by a lot of oh no, let's not even go there let's not even go there yeah the whole push towards efficient small light electric transport being completely ignored by the government well done that's not pointless is it here we are rocking up 20 minute journey only took an hour flying a speed shop Go and find the magical guys. Toggle! Hello? Hello? Hello, buddy! Thought I'd just come unannounced with the camera. How are you, bud? I'm all right, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. I've got some things for you, magical things. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Some magical things. Oh, wow. There you go. So, I'm hoping we could try them out and hopefully they'll fit. Yeah, they look all right, don't they? Yeah, 90% TPU, gyroid weave inside, so it should be relatively yeah. solid. Right. And uh, hopefully they'll go straight on. Here is the beast. It is a Mercury Comet, isn't it? Yeah, 1965. 1965. So these little puppies sit up on there. And there's a little plate there that they sit on. So we're hoping Mm. Yeah. Look at that, we did it. Look at that. I wonder if they fit with both of them in. I don't know if yeah. <laughs> made yeah. them too tight. No. And we're not going to show you how to break into a Mercury Comet with a screwdriver. <laughs> so 
Well, the beauty of it is, if it doesn't fit, we can just, we can alter the yeah. unit to yeah. take up any gap. That's it. Yeah, because you can see how much flex there is in the hinge. God, there is a bit, actually, if I stand back. Look at that. The amount of work on this has been done, guys, look. It's unbelievable. All new rain channels and back end. And you want to see somebody who knows what they're doing? Come and see Calvin. It's quite ridiculous. Oh, well, now I need a flathead. I was just talking about how professional you were then. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to uh, get my stocks of self tappers up there. Yeah, we sort of had to guess on this a little bit because the because they've kind of blown over time. Yeah. So I've cut a little bit out some of the recesses. Yeah. And because that's so super stiff, just sort of had to guess where it may have been. Yeah. But we can always alter them. But that looks like a reasonably good contour, doesn't it? Moment of truth, is it going to bend everything? No. It's up a little bit. Yeah, I am adjusted the but, end. Oh, that's all right. Well. Yeah, it shuts. That's the main thing. Awesome. Brilliant. Right, well, great success. So we're off. Thank okay. you, buddy. Yeah, thanks for that. And Brilliant. why should people come and see you? Why are you so bloody excellent? Because we're the top top people in the forest. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Flying A speed shop. Yeah. Come on down. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, take it easy, guys. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, better not show too much. No, oh, no, 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 no. Definitely not that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not that. No, no, no. Right, see you again soon. Ta da! Bye bye. Well, that was a good success. Everything working, everything fitting, which is a bit of a bonus. So, yeah, that was great. Um, first time fit, fit well. So, doesn't get much better than that. Let's head back. Uh, and I guess I'll edit this and shove it up. So, uh, I'll catch you in a moment. So what does Calvin do up at Flying A Speed Shop? Well, they do a whole bunch of stuff. So predominantly they work around, oh my goodness, above it. <laughs> right, so predominantly they work around uh, fifth, beautiful 50s trucks and cars. Um, what they do is restoration. And we're not talking just smash a bit of goop and slap some paint on we're talking proper body modifications uh reworking panels making panels from scratch using presses laser cutters english wheels you name it so they fabricate entire sections of car chassis doors bonnets the real clever stuff so that is why they are so amazing and what they do is because well, as you saw work on that comet there's nothing short of astonishing. Plus, he's a really nice guy. So that is that is why that is why you should go there. Right, onwards. Let's get home. Do some editing. <laughs>